So we've officially wrapped up this planet, the Jedi Temple and everything, and we're about to leave and head on to the next destination. So here we go, getting into the newest episode. You passed the test. So you knew about BD-1? Come on board, we'll talk inside. Oh, BD-1, this is Grease. Hey, Grease. What is that? Get off my sofa! Get, get off my sofa! No! Get out of there! Get out! That is BD-1. He's with us. I don't care who he's with. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get oil stains out of patchouli weed fabric? Not really. Oh, I hope you found something better out there than this droid. Oh, calm down, Grease. He did. Tell us, Cal. The vault was built by an ancient civilization called the Zepho. A Jedi named Eno Cordova hid something inside of it. What did he hide inside? And now her true well, motives come out. It contains a list of four sensitive children. The next generation Jackpot. of Jedi. Jackpot! I knew it! Oh, Cordova, you old fool. You knew him? Yes. A long time ago. I was his apprentice. Padawan, use the right Cordova language. A loner. <laughs> that little droid and I are probably the only ones that know about Pagano. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. <clears throat> a hollow what? A holocron. It stores information, but only accessible to Jedi. Hang on, I think I have one around here. I think I have one? Wouldn't you know if you had one? Use the Force. This is Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen. Oh, now I want to watch the prequel films. With that list of Force sensitives, we could rebuild the Jedi Order and defeat the Empire. Okay, no problem. Let's get it! Well, except the Holocron is hidden deep inside the vault, and to get it, we have to follow Cordova's path. He mentioned something about the planet Dathomir and a Zeppo homeworld. All right, well, where are we going? I'm just asking because I was thinking of maybe making some food. Look, before we do anything, I need to know something. How come you're no longer a Jedi? I had an experience that changed my perspective. From a certain point of so view. So I cut myself off from the Force. But you still want to rebuild the Order. I believe that rebuilding the Order is the best chance we have against the Empire. What do you believe? I believe I can't keep hiding from the Empire, so I don't really have a choice. Cal, as long as you're alive, you will always have a choice. Are you with us? We're in. Dathomir is Zepho. It's your choice. All right. Off to the next planet we go. Before we do, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon. If you ever miss an update, to continue our journey. Through Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, which I've played through twice before, but I'm going to be uploading videos from time to time as we get closer to Jedi Survivor. Kind of completing a... I guess it's going to be a mostly off-the-scenes um, playthrough, uh, but occasionally I'll be recording videos to upload to YouTube. Same thing that I'm doing with Red Dead Redemption 2. That's mostly an offline thing that I'm doing, whereas Witcher 3 I'm playing live for everybody alongside Pillars of Eternity. So yeah, like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, support with the membership. Super chat on these premieres and live streams. Super thanks after the fact. Don't forget the Patreon page, Discord channels below. All the links are down there. If you're not ready to leave, don't bother me. A little grumpy. Hmm. Let's talk about seeds. Did I already plant these? Hey, Grease, what's this thing? What? <coughs> You've never seen a terrarium before? Sure, but don't they usually have plants in them? Well, I've been a bit busy hauling you around the galaxy, but you know, you could pay me back with some seeds. I thought you hated nature. When it's out there, you betcha. But when it's behind a comfortably thick wall of embarring glass, that's perfection. Perfection. All right, I'll see if I can find any. All right, well, I just planted the first one. Let's go back in here and use the meditation circle to save our progress. Okay, 
seeds are planted. What, uh, 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 what else can I do? Nothing. All right, time to choose a planet. Wait, does she want to talk to me? Seer, can you feel a force at all? Yes, but instead of opening up, I push it back down. The exact opposite of what you should do. Out there, I remembered something about myself before the purge. It was painful, but like I found a piece of myself. That's good. You're learning to embrace the force again. How can you say that? Because I know what it means to live without it. Okay, I'll keep trying. I like these little snippets of dialogue that you can find in between the missions if you take the time to talk to them. We'll talk later. Until they tell you, no, not right now. All right. We're definitely not going to Dathomir. Zepho, please. All right. Travel to Zepho. So, if the order thing is rebuilt, you think any Jedi will come Watch out Watch BD hiding? on the console. Mm, what makes you think there are a Jedi hiding? No, I'm just curious. Is there someone specific you're thinking of? Well, growing up, we heard tales of a green, pointy-eared, legendary Jedi Master, and... Are you talking about Master Yoda? Yes, he is very legendary. Wait, what? Who? No, no, I'm talking about Master Yaddle. <laughs> the Jedi Yaddle. Council member? Yeah, we all have our dreams, okay? Let me have mine. <laughs> no problem. I love the fact that Yaddle was just in an episode of the ba of uh, right, Tales of the here. Jedi that I was watching the other day. I love these lightsaber lightsaber um, light speed sequences and planet landing well, sequences. Storm down there. This might not be the best time to land. Yeah, something strange. Those winds are interfering with our comms. Hey, Cordova mentioned something about peace in the eye of the storm. Well, I can just make out a settlement in the middle of it. Then we have to get there. That. Love it. Oh. Couple bumps ain't gonna kill you, kid. <laughs> Unless the wind picks up. Can you tell that bucket of balls to keep his opinion to himself? I'm sure everything's under control. If it's under control, it's just a little tricky. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. Huh. Perfect landing. <laughs> Easy money, baby. Uh -huh, but I'm still getting a lot of interference on the comms. It's going to take me a minute to get them back up. I'll search for signs of Cordova in the meantime. Good. I'll be in touch once I crack this. All right, new planet to explore. Cal, over here. What's up? We did good work on Badano. The more information we gather on Cordova and Zepho, the closer we'll get to stopping the Empire. I've heard of ancient cultures, but don't know much about them. I only knew that Cordova was obsessed with Zepho, believing their teachings to be important. I, too, was intrigued by the mysteries of our galaxy. You better get moving. There's a lot to learn here. Good luck. I can see you two have been through a lot. It's not easy. No, it's not. But I think of those who believed in me at one point. If I give up on myself, then I give up on them. I'm sure you have a few of those. Prof, a uh, friend of Braco. He sacrificed himself so I could live. He believed in you. A lot of people depend on you, even if they don't know it yet. Keep going, Cal. For Prof. For everyone. Edie wants a helpful droid. He does seem to be warming up to you. Cordova must have really liked droids. He decided to leave such important information with BD-1. I only assume he chose BD-1 because he needed some sort of ability to store encrypted information. These exploration droids are good tools for that sort of thing. But I'm sure he's more than that. Please, I'm trying to collect my thoughts. So Mr. Flighty will probably have more dialogue for me too. Where is he at? 
degrees, full buddy old pal. Good work. Oh, we did it. We did it. Oh, I hope you're not hurt. What are you looking at? Who are you talking to? Uh, just my ship, the Manus. Good name, right? Intimidating. Oh, what do you know? You've probably never even flown a ship. Maybe I'll teach you one day when you're done with your Jedi stuff. I'll even give you a discount. Nice landing, Grease. Me? Oh, yeah. Not a problem. It's easy for a skilled pilot like myself, especially when flying a ship like this. <laughs> this baby was a steal. <laughs> well, I mean, I didn't find it as steal. It. I bought it. Well, I sort of, I almost. I mean, I took out a small loan. <laughs> Big loan, actually. No, it's fine. Look, we're all fine. Don't, don't worry about it. Don't, don't you have Jedi stuff to do? Get to it, kid. Then just you and see her for a while? Oh, yeah, she's great company. <laughs> what about you? How long were you alone on Braca? Oh, I wasn't alone. I had, uh, people. Friends? It's hard to have friends when you have secrets. Uh, don't worry about it. Friends, friends are overrated. <whistles> what did that say? He said we're all his friends. Oh, well, that's kind of nice. All right, so we... okay. Yeah, great. Just enjoying some peace and quiet. All right, I think we've wrapped up his dialogue options. Sturdy storage containers to transport fragile goods. The outside is made of heavy material that can easily withstand Zepho's high winds. The store's not budging. I'm guessing you have to go up the ramp. Watch out, BD. Don't look friendly. What do you got? Capable of two different attacks. They'll bite at their prey's heels or lock them down with a leap that cannot be blocked. They're opportunistic, often surrounding prey when they are locked down. Scas are most commonly found in the shade or dark areas where they can maintain cooler body temperatures. Due to poor vision, they are especially vulnerable in bright light. They are most dangerous in packs, often biting and locking their jaws into prey, thus providing an opportunity for the others to strike. I'm looking. What else are we scanning? A stormtrooper. They attack efficiently in large numbers. A lightsaber will reflect shots back at them. Imperial stormtroopers are the ba basic frontline soldiers of the Galactic Empire. Conscripted from worlds across the galaxy, they have been trained to support the might of the Imperial War Machine and identify threats indiscriminately. Armed with a variety of weapons, including long-range blaster rifles, they are most efficient in large numbers where they may prove overwhelming. Cal, can you hear me? The Empire. They found Zeppo. If they were following the Mantis, we would have been swarmed already. Could they be looking for the tombs? Let's hope not. Just got our comms working. I'll try the same workaround to crack into theirs. Nice. Alright. Can't go up there yet because I don't have the double jump. I 
guess you don't need the double jump, but I remember this being a locked door. Yep. A little help. Oh, I Let's burned a set. stem on accident. Scout Troop Baton. Oh, I hit the wrong button. this you seem happy <laughs> the mother used this fabric to keep her child warm they were on the run from something they did a really good job with this flashlight Stim crate should be here. Oh, yeah. Can you carry more? Thanks, BD1. The music and everything. Man, I really want to go rewatch all the films now. I remember the end fight here when you have to come out and fight the uh, ATST. Uh oh, stormtroopers. Oh, that's a lot of stormtroopers. Not a problem. The power of the force at my side. I don't think I have to worry about any of these crates because these are all the one times that you get, I think, for. Uh, yeah, these are all. I already got these all in my last playthrough. So I played it once on the PS4 and then once on the Xbox. This is my second time on the Xbox. Warning. Imperial. Oh, wait, that's the wrong thing. Area Imperial Code 94364. No selling or trading. Look at that view. Abandoned village and stormtroopers everywhere. Eyes over there. Oh dear. Here, boys. I can't do this by myself. You're too quick. Different kind of trooper. Can block limited lightsaber attacks, but defense is easily diminished. Easily defeated in single combat, but dangerous in numbers. Imperial scout troopers are specially trained stormtroopers in service of the Galactic Empire for a range of missions. They are equipped with light armor for greater mobility and specialized helmets that allow for greater adaptability. Armed with electro riot batons, when blasters are identified as insufficient, 
They are especially skilled in melee combat, crowd control, and defense against a lightsaber. Find something? families that became separated the father caused their sexual and the mother to escape with a child so I can't get through that door yet Eviction notice. Civilians must immediately report for relocation. Duties will be shot. In accordance with Imperial Code 94364, no selling or trading without proper authorization and explicit consent. This property and its belongings are now under the protection of the Galactic Empire. General Markon, 201st Squadron. Lies. The Empire just wanted this land. The Jedi is here! Strange trooper, all right. I bet he runs away from us. Oh, oh shit. Man, that guy does a lot of damage. I forgot I'm not playing on easy mode anymore. Scout Trooper Commander. Able to block parry and use specialized spin techniques. Stronger stamina than their subordinates. Scout Trooper Commanders lead squads of specially trained Solm Troopers into combat for the Galactic Empire. Scout Commanders armed with riot batons are extremely adept in melee combat and should not be taken lightly. Um, yeah, I just learned that lesson. Not to be taken lightly. I forget why I want to jump up here. I don't remember if I can make that jump at this point. that I'm gonna have to start paying a little more defensively burning through my stems like candy that's going to be the end of this episode, everybody. I'm trying to keep these down under 30 minutes, so like, subscribe, hit that bell icon if you want to see more of me playing Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. I might stream from time to time, but mostly this is a thing for me that I'm doing for my own personal enjoyment, preparing for Jedi Survivor coming in March. Support if you can with the membership, super chats, stickers, 
Super thanks, all the good things. Don't forget the Patreon page if you want to get involved with our point-and-click game, fantasy world, tabletop setting, and beyond. Don't forget Discord either. Links are down below, and I'll see everybody in the next episode.